well. You know, breakfast isn't always a charity meal, a uh, charity meal, and I would not hope, but I don't buy it. The colonel sat down, boy. Uh, he called a parameter of fashion. Uh, he gave an order for eggs coffee, uh, then his eyes rested for a moment on Hercules Poirot. Uh, but they passed indifferently to pass on indifferent. Uh, Poirot reading the English mind correctly. Uh, the English mind, he knew that he had said to himself, uh, known you known, only some damn foreigner to them, to your, true to their nationality. Nationality the two English people were not chatty. They exchanged a few brief remarks, and presently the girl rose and went back to her compartment to go when gone back, peremptory indifferently foreigner exchange. Well, you know, breakfast isn't always a chatty meal. I would hope not, but I don't bite. The colonel sat down, boy, he called a peremptory fashion. He gave an order for eggs or coffee. He served the rest for a moment on Hercule Poirot, but they passed indifferent. The Poirot read the English mind correctly, knew that he had said to himself uh, only some damn foreigner. True to their nationality, the two English people, uh, people were not yet. They exchanged a few brief remarks, and presently the girl rose and went back to her compartment. At lunch time, the two again shared a table, and again both completely ignored the third. Their conversation was more animated than a breakfast call on Ethnot, uh, took the Punjab uh, and occasionally asked girl a few questions about Baghdad. It became clear that she had been a post garment at lunchtime, the other two again shared a table, and again both completely ignored the third passenger. The conversation was more animated than at the breakfast. Colonel F. Abstronaut talked of Punjab and occasionally asked the girl to give a few questions about Baghdad when it became clear she had been opposed as a governess. Repetitor по Skype, Smart Teacher Studio 97.